hello everyone today i am going to make another halloween halloween t-shirt design as this is the time for halloween and i think the october 15 15 is the last time for selling halloween designs because no one buys halloween designs after that maybe so we have time until the october 15 so in this one i am going to use this text all women are created equal but only the best are born in october as it's the it's the month of october the halloween will happen so whoever is born in october it is easily targetable for them and of course we are going to make a halloween design for this so it will be a birthday gift and a halloween t-shirt together so in this one i am going to use this three font this baby angelo regular kids stay regular and a scary halloween bold you will find them on the font.com so the first step is using first step is dividing this text like how you want to place your text which part you want to place where so i am going to place this part on top first of all then this created equal then but only the best are born in october so this october i am going to make in focus because it is the month of october and their birthday and the text here the best this two will be my focus text because this will attract my buyer or viewer whoever i am making designs for so for this one i am going to make that same rule here just a, a smaller in size because i will i am planning to use some effect in my design so that will not be very good looking on that will be hard for me to making them in a very bigger size so i am locking this layer whatever i will do i will do inside this layer here so i am going to select everything here making them black so for this one here all women are i am going to make this one in this font baby angelo because i don't want it to be a very muscular font or something like a font that males will like so that's why i am using a women fancy kind of female fonts but not in too much scripted because i don't want it to be i don't want it to make it like hard to read so for this one here i am just going to okay as you can see this font have some inner space in build so i am going to reduce that to bring them a bit closer like this okay i am just placing them as they are by the font so this one here also i am going to use this one but only the best the best here i am going to use this font here because these two will connect to each other these two will be connected to each other so this one here also i am going to use this one are born in october this october text i am going to use this scary font because that is the that will represent the halloween theme for my design here okay guys so before starting i am going to i am i will use everything from this bundle pack here so you will be it will be easily for you to practice because it is available on my group and this one here this reborn pack also this one this one is also i gave to you so that's why i am using them because it will be easier for you guys to use them so i am going to use this this very sim simple ribbon here just like this because i want to i was getting some questions <laughs> that why i don't use this kind of ribbons or don't do normal regular kind of designs that is because i don't like them this kind of designs i like simple and qualityful works so okay so for this one here this text i am going to break it because i want to keep it as it is all women are then for this one here created equal i am going to make it a bit bigger in size then i am going to place this this check text on this ribbon so for that i am going to make a ellipse here in a stroke mode so it will give me an opportunity to see it better 
okay guys so i need to make it a bit large because i want to follow this curve of my ellipse here that ribbon here so that's why maybe a bit in this side okay that is now looking good now i am selecting my text here again selecting my ellipse here now taking type on path tool just like this and paste so once it is pasted you can see it is easily following my curves here so it is a bit bigger okay maybe this will look good for my ribbon here because i want that to cover that at the area so maybe a bit just like this okay so this is now looking good I need to make a little more adjustment here just like this okay once it is finished I am going to create an outline for that now I am going to again make a offset path 5 pixel is a bit lower 10 pixel is okay okay now focus here it is my offset path created I am going to press ctrl x that will cut that layer I am selecting this ribbon now and once the ribbon is selected i am pressing ctrl f that will paste that layer in front of my ribbon and then again as you can see this is offset path only selected i am again pressing shift and clicking here to select them both now i am using minus front pressing alt on my keyboard click here that will create it a minus front that cut out effect and this on was transparency was opposite a bit lower so that makes a complete single shape okay that doesn't that is not a problem for me and the reason i use this minus front here not transparency that i am not going to make any changes for them in the future so i am making a group okay so once it is a group i am just going to place them just like this so maybe for this area here i will add something there later but for this one here i am now i am now going to make a ellipse here that is because that will represent the moon effect here so that is the that is my ellipse is going to be i am going to place it just like this because i will place my place a which inside this moon here like that we have done many designs like this before so that's why okay maybe just a single witch this one maybe not with bird not with cat just a simple one i need to make this one white for now because that will be easy to see on black and i will make some make the color adjustment later so this is now my okay as you can see this was a compound path we can easily release that but before that i am going to select it using shape builder to fix this two area okay that is now okay for me so this is now going to be the background for my image here design here so i am going to place the rest of the text here but before that okay so this one is going to be the lower part of my text i will start that from here but only the best so this the best one is the focus text of me here so i am going to make that a bit bigger in size because okay maybe same size as this as my the first text there all women are because i want to keep everything inside the this area so on this this one here this october i am going to make that one also in that same size but okay so i need to insert another line inside this area so that's why i need to make it a bit smaller because otherwise it will be a longer design so the but only the best are born in october so this is going to be the basically the main design for me and for these areas as i am using a ribbon in this area so i can maybe use another one okay not like that okay i am just going to use something like very simple here this one maybe 
that's not a problem i can simply create my own okay not that much i just want to make it just like this now cut it and okay before pasting in back if i just paste it in back it will go below my this white layer as you can see in this area here but i am cut cutting that now selecting my this text here now pressing ctrl b it will now paste it just below the text only so if i select my text and make that one white so this is going to be look good okay now i am going to break my font because i don't need that font in font style anymore okay once it is a bit bigger i am selecting this shape and this text here aligning them just in the center so once it is centerized i am going to make it a bit just like this okay again selecting them aligning them center wise now i am again selecting my pen tool the add anchor point tool okay just like that place and here now i am selecting my a here my direct selection tool here to bring it a bit downwards like this okay guys so this is just okay now as it is complete i am going to make it them a group so as you can see this is now my text here but i want this one to be on a bit upper position just like this because i need to put some elements on this side and this best text here the best okay as i told you that i have created a i used a ribbon here so i can use the same quality ribbon in on this side too so for that one maybe just a simple one okay this one will work for me now i am selecting that copy that paste it here just like this because i want to i want to cover this okay sorry for that i want to cover this lower part of my moon here sorry guys it takes a lot of time to make a design from complete beginning okay so as this text is now placed this ribbon is now placed i am going to make it red so that i can see that well now i am going to use my this curvature tool to make a lines from this area so that i can place my text on it and again i am i need to make a little adjustment here just to make it that it follows this curves very well so that is the reason i am making this okay now i am going to select my this text here cut that again taking my type on path tool now before clicking anywhere you need to keep in mind that wherever you will click the the letters the writing will start from that point so if i click here it will start from this point and go this side but i am going to click it here and then it will start from that end and follow the curve but i need to make it white for this area not white red so red will be visible on both black and white areas just like this okay so it is now looking good i'm going to break that font because i don't need any changes there okay again like before i'm going to make a offset path for my text here not 10 pixel because okay before that i need to make a little bit change here just to make it a little bit smaller so if okay i don't need to make that offset path any, anymore because it is not overlapping my this ribbon area so i am selecting them to making them a group okay guys so now i am selecting this two to make a group again now as you can see if i select everything here i can simply place them all in the center point but there is some problem here that my witch got some stars on this side so i'm going to erase them because that is making it that is making that 
align this left twice so i'm again selecting them now you can see they are all in perfectly center and the reason i am making this box because you can see it is now covering almost all of the printable area of my design here so if i make any changes here when i will make it bigger it will cover the whole area so for this one here i am going to bring a bit little bit downwards like this this and then this one here i want to make it same size with my that text and again i am going to overlap my this text with my moon here because i just want to okay before that i need to ungroup them because they are all together grouped i am selecting this black rectangle here and my this ribbon and text group here now using shape builder to erase these parts i can simply use my transparency but i don't need to make any changes there so that's why i am not using transparency okay i don't need that opacity part here so i am making that erasing that now as you can see it is now overlapping my the best text here but for this one i am going to use my offset path again just a bit bigger maybe 15 point okay now as you can see if i cut this again selecting my this text here pasting in front control f again selecting this to group pressing alt and clicking here minus front that will make that erase that part and if i don't if i just do not expand this i can always make changes like i can move this part and it will look like this so it's almost like transparency but in transparency you have some more options i have discussed before but here once i expanded it cannot be undone ever so for this one here this is the final design of my graphics part here so i'm going to select everything from here this which and this stars i'm going to make them i'm going to move them a bit upwards like this just like this maybe now i'm going to use some other elements like a house maybe i don't know okay there was a house with some stuffs like i don't know where that one is now okay that's not a problem i am going to use this one for now copy now i'm going to paste it in in here but making it white so it will not look very bad on black just like this okay this is not looking very good because i wanted to make him make her fly i wanted to make her fly above the house but that is not working so i am skipping that part i don't i will not add that okay guys so for this one here as you can see there is a lots of empty space in our design like this side area this area so how can we fix that now for this one here we made a halloween design so only this which is the element of halloween here so that's why i am going to add some more elements here like i want a pumpkin of course a scary looking pumpkin i don't know which one yeah this one not that one okay let's just take this one and the witch hat i need a witch hat maybe this one copy that now pasting in here so as you can see there are now two different parts here so i'm going to make it a bit bigger and then i'm going to put this witch hat on top of my pumpkin but i want to make it reflect like this just like this because a little bit sideways maybe okay so once it is placed you can see the pumpkin head is 
visible from this area i don't need that i am erasing that okay guys so for this one here i am going to use again a offset path that is 10 point or maybe a bit less that is good for me again cut selecting my pumpkin paste in front selecting my pumpkin again minus front so it is looking good at least better than before so i'm going to make them a group so that is going to be the that is the i don't know what it call i always call it my agent because they are here to cover my scenes and what kind of scenes the areas i left empty there they are here to cover them so they are my spies now i am going to reflect it okay as you can see this two is not looking very bad here but they are still okay i don't need that i need to make a offset path for my the best text here again making offset path a bit bigger in size okay guys now it will take some time to make adjustment for this both so i am going to just make them a group open transparency paste in front so this time i am not going to use that minus front effect i am using that transparency effect okay so this is the way of converting your designs or making your designs this is going to be a very long tutorial because there is a lot more things i want to do and that is not done yet so it will be okay for this one here this area it is overlapping or blending with my moon text there so i am going to again make offset path for my this ribbon cut that selecting my this rectangle here paste in front again selecting my rectangle pressing alt clicking minus that is minus front okay it is now looking good okay so this area is done now i am going to okay i don't know if i make this one bigger like this how it will look yeah not bad actually that is not looking very bad so that is going to be like that now for these areas i am going to add some more elements so for that one here i am going to add some custom brushes to my design like i need a really scary looking hand here so i'm going to select this one here okay sorry for that not cut copy paste it here just like this again i'm going to need something like a which broom can work for me this one copy that again so i'm going to i'm just taking my time to make it because this is a really creative work to make a designs and i don't design like make a concept first then just show you the process because that is the that is not the way you will never learn designs by that tricks or by that way so okay so this spider net will work for me now guys okay so these are some elements i am going to use okay i have another idea here that is just if i take this one here copy that this is really fun when making designs for like for in personal use because i have my creativity to do whatever i want but when we are working for clients especially sometimes we don't have the get this creative option because they have they want what they like okay so that is not looking good there i am going to add something like this one copy this one okay i don't know why i make this mistake every day it's the time for that train to pass and i start making video before that so that's a problem okay guys so this one will look good for me because i want to cover this whole area here just like this maybe okay this one is good okay i just want to make it 
just like this because the, the rest of these areas I am going to use my direct selection tool to fix them ok that is not a very important part as you can see this can be just like this so now I am selecting it again erasing this two part ok guys so this is just for covering my these little areas I wanted to cover them but I had no idea how to, how I will do that but here I get the idea now for this one here I am going to make it a bit bigger in size just like this so again selecting my eraser tool to erase this part that is coming inside my text here and for this one here yeah that is much more easier ok so that part is done now for this part here I am going to use this custom brush tools so I am going to use my this hand here first of all I need to make two version of my every design just to use them as a custom brush so I am selecting that one making a art brush for that again I am selecting that one making a art brush for that now by this way I have two hand facing two opposite directions so erasing that deleting that now I have this broom here and of course I will make another broom here so I am going to add again making a art brush for that one ok this is just some repeating process I know you would guys do not watch the whole video because my average view duration is 4 minute 4 to 5 minute so that's okay no problem I am just taking my time there I get a message from someone on fiber ok so once my these custom brushes are done now I can easily place my those designs just by creating some random shapes like this small areas here I am going to ok I am going to use this this my curvature tool here I like this tool very much just I can make the, make a random line there again I am going to reflect that transform reflect ok I need to place them in exactly center position to with each other so I am going to again ok so once it is placed like the place I want I can simply replace them with my this custom brushes here and that will ok for this one I need this option and for this one maybe not that one ok this same effect will work for them ok that is good for me now for these areas I am going to use my another option here like ok for this one here I am going to use my pen tool just to create a shape here and I can maybe simply convert it with my ok that was not necessary because I could have done this with my with the original hand so it's really hard to <laughs> make a decisions because this is the way of working things cannot things can go really bad or ok so that is a mistake now I need to do it in other way just a little a small line here now selecting this line replacing that with my hand brush here ok not that hand this hand here ok once it is placed here I am going to take that upward and then replace with my other brush that is the easiest way so 
once okay i want this hand to be reflected because that part i want to be inside okay before that i need to expand it because that is now in a stroke mode so that is not working like that way i want it to work just like this okay now this one for this one i am going to add a ruler here because i don't want to go outside of this area so this is good for me now for this one again i am going to reflect it this way okay guys so this is not very necessary because i am adding too much details in a design and that is just because i want to make it look good this is a scary design so it should be look scary now my design is almost done now for this little small areas as you can see like this one here if i create it create a line here just like this and if i replace that with my this custom brush here it will simply add some lines it is really easy to place things in like this curve way so we, i could have added that vector directly here but that will not look this kind of good or this kind of curve in the way it is looking now okay guys so this one i don't need i am going to make this one a bit bigger and then reflect it just like this okay so and now i need to expand it and the area that is overlapping my ribbon from this area i am going to erase that again expanding that okay that is good i don't need to make any changes there and of course these two i am going to use in this same direction i am just covering the areas here because that is the way of that is the way i work actually but if i get my okay guys so the reason i am making it this much detailed is i seen some of you doing this kind of works but the placement of vector is not very good so this is the way of placing vectors in any way you want in any design you want so that is why i made this one because i wanted to share with you how to work with vectors not just place them place them in a custom brush way so that will look good that that will look better even so if you just use it in in a custom brush size okay guys so for this one here i wanted to i told you that i am going to make a very graphic work here as you can see this is my final design and if i just place some rollers here you will see how my design is balanced like in every element everything is inside okay thank you for that everything is in perfect balance here i can simply add some more details like place them just like this to make a area here then again it depends on you how you want to how you want to make your design how you how you want to give it your a look so once it is expanded i am erasing selecting my eraser tool to erase this small parts because i don't want to want anything to go outside of my this area so this is a good one for this one here i am going to just use it in a bigger size just like this okay not that one i need a longer one like longer means this one will work for me so this is really easy to replace something 
I don't know what I am right now I am talking about or whatever what is the topic I am talking just I am talking something because I don't want to be a noise on the background for my video okay guys so this is now my final design everything here is done I don't want to add anything else just I want to add one more thing that is I am going to add a background for my total design here like this kind of background a okay I don't know what happened just a oval shape a ellipse shape but not bigger than my the bigger than the wide of my design so this is now my this is just a simple rectangle I am going to make it maybe black red red is good for me now copy paste in front Ctrl C Ctrl F making a bit bigger making it a little bit bigger so cut okay so before cut I have two ellipse here one is both is red one is small one is bigger so I am going to cut this bigger ellipse cut now I am selecting this ellipse here opening transparency of that ellipse now paste in front so as I told you guys if anything is in black inside this transparent transparency it will be invisible but my ellipse is not black it is red so I am going to apply gradient here on this ellipse as this black and white of course but for this this one here I am not going to use a linear gradient I am going to use a radial gradient and as you can see the if I increase the black from this side it will make this area invisible or make that area just like okay that was not complete black so you can see now it is making these areas invisible so that is the way of making a blend texture in illustrator now if I just increase the white here it will make the okay guys sorry for that if I decrease the black here it will increase the area of red here just like this if I increase the white it will increase the amount of red here okay that is good for me now I am going to turn off the transparency so once my ellipse is done you can see now I am going to place it something like this but obviously not in front so I am going to make it okay now I need to make it inside my design area here so I am going to select it make it a bit smaller than my design area and it will give me a background kind of look so for that so for this one here I am going to cut this once it is cutted I am going to ok first of all I need to select everything in the in my design area making them a group and once I select this group if I paste in Ctrl press Ctrl B it will paste my ellipse in the background of my design here so for that one here as it is going to be a design for of course a design for black shirts so I am going to now change the colors according to that like if I change this color to like red this October to Halloween this may be in a color of okay before that I need to I need to expand it because it was I applied the minus front effect here and that is still on it okay I don't know I could have cut that and paste in front and then again okay guys so that's not a problem so for this one here I am going to use this this kind of purple color but in a lighter version of that purple maybe because it is it should look good on black so that is the color of which which hat we have done many designs before okay I don't know what is going on 
now okay this circle background here i want to make it white because that is the color of moon so in this which of course in white so the rest here i am going to this one here i am going to make it this color created equal i am going to make it this color and again the rest of the designs like this pumpkin here i can make it this color but of course not this hat should be in this color this is really up to you guys how you want to colorize a design so i think this is now good as you can see this two is coming this two is overlapping my moon here moon shape here so i'm going to select them both cut them now i'm going to i want to paste that in behind this moon shape but not behind that that background i created so i'm going to select this moon shape pressing ctrl b it will paste that exactly back of that selected object so again i'm going to select them cut now i'm selecting this group here paste in back it will paste that behind these areas too so this one is going to be also this color this two broom i want to make it this color because that is the i'm creating a balance here so for this two hand i don't know why it takes this much long time it's really i never made any designs longer like this so cut this two selecting this group only paste in back it will paste that okay that is because this group is transparent so i'm going to select my this shape here just to make it it is this part that is overlapping my okay so this one here i am going to use this color this two i am going to make them white because bows are always white but once it is white and there is also my, my moon is white so i think that is good no problem selecting this to cut selecting this text and this group when we selected them paste in back ctrl b that will paste that exactly back of this two selected items so that is now invisible okay i think everything is done here colored here i don't know why i added this one in red color when everything else is in this purple and okay everything is in purple and orange color like this okay guys so this is now my final design it's time to take a look i am very excited because this is almost not almost it is 43 minute my video is running so for that one i am going to ungroup my this white layer and erase that okay guys so this is the final design of me right now i am going to make it a bit bigger in that direction of course in this direction too okay that is the now as you can see it is making a background kind of feel there but i want to want that to be behind my okay so i want that to be behind my moon only that is the reason i make that that is a real small details it is not even visible too much but that will look good so guys this is the final design but i don't think that these colors is looking very good on black so maybe i need to do something that is i can simply click on here then it will select everything that is in that color so i can simply make that a bit lighter i don't know how that is looking right now i don't know what happened to my this text okay guys so this is yeah that is now looking better than before so this is the final design for this video as you can see i have placed a lots of elements here inside but everything is in a perfect harmony everything here is in 
a perfect balance now this is not because i am the good designer no because i know this how to make this kind of designs okay this area here i really don't this is not the exact effect how i wanted this to be so i am going to make some changes and by changes i mean if i turn on the transparency for my that shape if i turn on the okay sorry for that now if i select my this shape here what is inside this transparency open the gradient i need to make it brighter like brighter red just like this but i want also this edges to be hidden so for that i am going to make it smaller just like this and if i increase this black it will erase the edge here that will hide the edge here so that is now my design is looking i think at least better than before okay guys so this is now my really problem that i don't like something so i am going to make this two in that color then i am going to select this three group make them white because white will look good on black and for this circle here this moon shape here i am going to make that one in that color or maybe in a darker shade of that color okay guys so this is the yeah this is looking even better so i am going to select click on here it will select this colors only now if i click here they will all be becoming that same color so that is now looking at least better than before and the reason i told you that i am going to apply some effect here that is this i am selecting this circle here i am going to apply some gaussian blur that will make it it is really it will really make my design heavy to apply this blur effect so that's why i didn't added that at the first place because then it will be it would be hard for me to make this much changes on a design so once it is done as you can see it is now looking better than before there is no hard edge for my design or maybe i can select this which to make it white okay i don't want that there is another idea i can simply cut my width select my this group here open transparency for that you can see this is really hard to work with affected object so now paste in front so once is it's pasted in front okay let me just paste in front it will take some time because of that effect i applied here as you can see it is not doing anything because that is in white if i make it black it will make that area transparent and if i come back to my this area here okay that is the that is the transparency doing there okay guys so this is the final design for this one here i am going to make a little adjustment here and you, you will see that in my group so guys thank you everyone it is almost 50 minute for this video i will not take any more time for time of you thanks everyone have a great time see you in the next video